All right, sorry for the abrupt ending there on the intro, but I figure I'm going to only have that intro going for like a minute at the beginning. And um, welcome, welcome to tonight's live drawing for, well, what, 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 what do you know? It's the 21st night of September. September 21st, 2022, live art drawing. Um, this week I'm going to do one that I've done this character in the past, but when I did this character in the past, I was having some audio issues, so it never picked up anything that I was saying. It's not going to be the same picture that I did last time. It's going to be a little bit different, but it will be the same character I drew one of the times before where I had some microphone issues, but from one of my favorite Christmas movies, and well, I guess it's not even a movie, a special. We'll call it a special, and this is one that... When I found out that my siblings didn't care for it as much, I was a little heartbroken. But I could see why someone might not like it. It's very depressing. So we're going to start with our sketch pencil layer here. Let's do our background. We'll have a night sky here, so we'll have some stars. Obviously, I'm going to do them a little bit nicer when we get there. And let's see. This picture, I guess it's going to take place after after the love was already given to this thing here. You'll see what I mean in a second here as soon as I start drawing it. Now normally, this thing would be hunched over, real horrible looking. But the love that Linus gave this little tree made him perk right up. That's one thing though about the this Christmas special that I did not that I don't care for. So Charlie Brown gets this little tree. Now this is gonna be all wrapped up in Linus's blanket here. And I'll have some of the wood coming out from Linus's blanket here. Um so back to one of my things I didn't care for in this movie. So Linus wraps up the tree, makes it look nice, and brings it back to life a little bit. But then at the end of the movie all the characters just run over and just steal all of the uh, decorations off of Snoopy's house and decorate the tree. And then it just looks like a completely different tree. It doesn't even look like the sad little tree that we've kind of fell in love with here. Um, I'm trying to think how big this tree is. It's going to probably be a little bit taller than Linus if he was kneeling down. So we're going to have Linus kneeling here because he just got done helping out the tree a little bit. Now, one of the things I talked about before when I was drawing Linus on a different live show, like I said, the audio did not work on that episode, so I never posted it to YouTube. Um, but one of the things is that I talked about was a Charlie Brown character's shoe. So growing up, me and my siblings always laughed because we thought that the way they drew Charlie Brown character's shoes, they looked like a loaf of bread to us. And nothing made us laugh more. I just kind of spit on my iPad there. Nothing made us laugh more than the one episode, I believe it was called Bon Voyage Charlie Brown, where they go to France. And nothing made us laugh more when Charlie Brown went into the store to ask for a loaf of bread. And it just made us chuckle because we always said that their shoes looked like lo loaves of bread. And I think, if, I, if memory serves me correctly, the loaf of bread that he got, well... Charlie Brown asks ask for it in French. So he says, un loaf de bread, s'il vous plaît. So when they put the loaves of bread in the thing, it looks just like our elongated Charlie Brown shoe. So we always laughed at that. All right, so we'll have Linus kneeling down in the snow here. And his knees are going to be dipped into the snow a little bit. But then a Charlie Brown character shoe. Let's see. Basically just looks like a loaf of bread. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. And we'll work on his face here. So basically all Charlie Brown characters have the same exact face. You got your, your little C-shaped nose. Your eyes are close together. So at any point, like right now, that could be any character. You know, you put these lines around the side. That could be Charlie Brown all worried. I mean, think about this. Let's put a little mouth on him first. All right, so now if I just left them like that and drew that, okay, that's Charlie Brown. You know, you uh, you want to put like 
I, I, I can't remember what her hair looks like, but all right, let's just say, no, that's not it. Let's just say a little hair like that. That's uh, Lucy, right? So yeah, all Charlie Brown characters kind of have the same look. But I guess that's that was the Charles Schultz style. But speaking of their style, they got the lumpy head. So we're going to give him a lumpy head. And especially this, t- this time of year, too, with it being fall coming around the corner here and, and um, Halloween just reminds me of the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. And that's very Linus, a Linus-centric Charlie Brown special. That's another good one. I enjoy that one a lot. Watching it as when you know when you're older, man. Eh, I don't like the hat that low. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. Watching it when you're older, you pick out a lot of the things that kind of aggravate you about it, like when the kids all say tricks or treats. I don't know, just little things like that. But that's that's the Halloween one. Maybe a little closer to Halloween, I will do something great pumpkin related, but I'll Christmas it up. The Great Pumpkin King, maybe we'll do something like that. But Linus's hair in the Halloween episode, it's one of my favorite things. When he gets scared, when he's like kind of sleeping and he thinks he hears the great pumpkin and his hair's standing up all crazy and he's like, was that? Was that? One of my favorites. I love it. So yeah, Charlie Charlie Brown specials kind of always made us laugh about certain little things. But that leads me to what I was saying before. When I found out that like my siblings and stuff were not into the Christmas special... I always thought we were growing up. I was a little heartbroken. All right, so we got Linus looking a little excited here that he fixed it up. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it like that. We're going to add our next layer. Um, let's see, we'll do a... I might go with technical pen. It's a little bit thinner just because the syrup one that I usually use is a little too... A little too cartoony for a Charlie Brown, if that makes sense. Their their lines are usually always pretty, pretty solid. So I don't want to. I don't want to make him like flared out like I, like I usually do here. So we'll start working on this. I might drop the opacity down on the pencil a little bit. It's a little dark. I don't like the way that that nose looked there. I gotta redo it. I'm trying to think if there's ever a Charlie Brown character that has colored eyes, or if they're always just the little beady eyes. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't think I ever paid attention to it. Well, it just switched over to eraser. That's the first time that's happened in a little while. Yeah, kind of give him a little bit of a Popeye mouth there. I'm not sure what kind of a beanie this is. don't really remember all right so we'll give him his worried eyebrows and then his hair that'll all be coming out of the beanie here a charlie brown character's hair is always always so thin and weird Trust me, I'm not. I'm not shit talking Charlie Brown here. I, I love him. I gotta fix that. Charlie Brown characters also usually have a really dark shadow underneath the, right underneath the neckline there.
Okay, now... I can never remember if a Charlie Brown character is a five-fingered character. We're giving them five fingers here. Just because I can never remember. Alright, then the knees... Like I said, we'll have... Kind of have them in the snow a little bit. Yeah, that'll work for me. Now we'll work on the tree. And then we'll just do some background and then some quick coloring. So the tree, most important part on this tree... Well, besides Linus's blanket now, is the ornament. I always debate, like, making it the perfect circle like that. Or just keep it with the hand-drawn look so it's a little, little bit lumpy, but I think we'll leave it like that. And we'll work on the blanket here. I think for the tree itself, I'm only going to... draw the main branch and then the rest when I fill it in it's going to be all the green and I'll do that on top of it so in other words I'm going to make two layers basically for that so we'll leave it just like that for now his blankets a little bit piled up here on top of it I have a a Charlie Brown tree that I put up every year and it came with Linus's little little blanket it's basically just a little piece of blue felt but I always have to wrap it around and make it look nice I'll add a little bit of a branch out here then the background snow and the stars we'll do later once we get that in. All right, so now we're going to eliminate the pencil layer there. We'll reference this layer. And then when I do the layer for the the bristles on the tree or the pine needles, i got to do that on a layer on top, so I have to take the reference off. Otherwise, you're going to see all the black lines through there. Um, so now we're just going to color everything in here, add a new layer for the color. And Linus is wearing mm, an orangish coat so we're gonna just drop fill this in then he's wearing I never know if they're black or brown we're gonna go with a slight really dark brown then his shoes loaves of bread are gonna be not that tan a little bit more orangey And then Linus's skin tone is fairly pale. Not that. That looks a little bit yellow. Hmm. It's tough getting the colors. I'm gonna I should do my my technique that I talked about on the last episode that I still never did yet. Uh, I didn't put the video up online how to import a color palette with a picture so if I were to google some pictures of Linus I could get his exact coloring but I'll do that one of these times all right then he has a green hat and we'll fill his mouth in just a regular old mouth color I guess and the blanket A baby blue. Mm, I left a line open in there somewhere. I see it, so I'm going to fix that real quick. So I'm just going back to the reference layer and closing that gap there. Okay, back to the blue, back to the color layer. Drop it in. Then we'll do the pieces of wood. I could do like a wood texture on them. I might just do that after I get the coloring in here. Wood texture is pretty easy to draw. You can just draw a couple of lines, make it look like some knots in the wood. 
And now the tree itself, that's going to be a darker brown. So we'll drop that in there. Up there as well. And the ornament. Nice shiny red ornament. And we'll add our shine to it and everything afterwards. And I'm not going to go with a pure white snow. We're going to make it a little bit on the icy blue side but I don't want it to blend in with his blanket there too much so that'll work and then we're gonna do a darker night sky and we'll add stars and everything in there and the bristles on the pine tree let's do the stars now while we're here I'm gonna go to pure white which is up there and we're just gonna draw a few I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here so I don't have to fill it in as much. So we'll just draw a couple of a couple of stars like that. I don't want to go too overboard with them. All right, that's good for the stars. Now I think we will do a shadow layer and a highlight layer. So let's switch it back to black. And we'll add some shadowing here. And let's see. I'm not, oh, I see why, I'm on eraser. I'm an idiot. All right, let's try that again. Alright, I don't like doing the shadow layer with that technical pen, so I'm going to switch it back over to Syrup. I like the way that looks better for my shadows. I'm just trying to get the right opacity here. And then everywhere there's a, a fold, it's going to be a bit of a darker layer, just for your texturing. And of course, the wood, the side pieces would be darker, shadow coming from under the blanket. Okay, the tree, nothing major, just a little bit of shading. The ornament, I'm going to add shading across the bottom. And we'll go over to good old Linus here. Give him his shadow work. We'll give him some highlights as well. Then you know I can't leave him looking as clean as he is here. He's going to have to get pig penned up a little bit. All right, a little bit of a shadow underneath him. I'll highlight that snow a little bit. A little bit of a shadow underneath this. Perfect. Now we'll switch it over to highlight. We'll start with the ornament. I have that a little too big there. Perfect. Not too much on the blanket because really the texture of the blanket wouldn't have highlights anyway. Neither would Linus, really. It's not like he's made out of anything shiny. But we'll add a little bit. Kind of makes it look like he's a plastic toy if you do it too much. All right, perfect. Now we're going to add another layer. And it's going to go on top of everything. And I'm going to take the reference off of that layer. That way my bristles will show up. 
So we're going to go back to a dark green. And just out of curiosity, I'm wondering if I went with, I had, um, let me see where it would be. I'm trying to think where it would be. I, one of the, the brushes I wanted to use, can't use tree because that would just be a whole, a whole thing. We're just going to try this one. I want to see what this will look like. Nah, don't like it. doesn't give me that look I want. So I'm just going to go with my syrup ink and really since it is a scraggly tree, it's not going to get too much on it. But this way if I do them like this, it covers up the the branches and really that's all a Charlie Brown tree is a couple of little sticks here and there and some needles coming off of it then if you wanted to you can make some of the needles a little bit darker just for so it doesn't look as flat and Maybe I'll do a couple of them lighter. Yeah, that looks good. A couple of little stragglers off of there. All right, now we're going to go back to... Oh, I see. I, I, did, I didn't even put that on a different layer. I could el eliminate that layer anyway. All right, now while we're on this layer, then I'm going to go back to black and technical pen and we'll give Linus a little bit of my treatment here there we go I don't want to put any like hairs coming off of like his nose or anything but give him a little bit of a patchwork on his elbow here then I might change that I wonder if I yeah let me reference this back and then I'm gonna go to my color layer I'm gonna color that patch in yellow but since I did it under the shadow it kept the shadow on top of it there but for the most part I think we're about done Linus spruced up the old the old Christmas tree there the Charlie Brown tree and made it look nice so we came in a little short today. We got, uh, what, 20, 23 minutes. Not bad. So I'm going to sign it, and then we'll call it a day for, for the 21st night of September. All right, so again, September 21st, Earth, Wind, and Fire wrote a song about it. And there you have it, Linus with Charlie Brown's tree all spruced up. One of my favorite Christmas specials. Hope you guys enjoy the Christmas special as well. Hope you enjoyed this drawing. I will be back next Wednesday at same time, same place. You could check this video out on YouTube later. And by later, I probably mean within the next 10 minutes. And I'm going to be um, recording another Christmas podcast tomorrow over on totally rad christmas so that episode not sure when that's going to drop but we're going to be talking about some christmas stuff over there so if you get a chance to check that out check it out and i will be back next week for more live drawings every wednesday night for daily christmas drawings check out my instagram at agu designs a-g-u-e-d-e-s-i-g-n-s all the links are at the end of this video underneath so thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys next week